Today on Talking Cricket, we have the Honorary Secretary to uh, Sri Lanka Cricket, of course, Mr. Mohan De Silva uh, with us. Uh, Mr. De Silva, absolute uh, pleasure to have you uh, with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. So, uh, needless to say, Talk of the Town is the T20 World Cup uh, just around the corner. Uh, first of all, how are the preparations for the World Cup proceeding as of now? Uh, well, uh, as you are aware, uh, we had the uh, South African team visiting Sri Lanka which was a precursor to the uh, this event, major event. Of course. And uh, since then, uh, we have had a training camp for the boys. A two-week training camp where they were kept in a bio-bubble at the Cinnamon Grand. Mm-hmm. And uh, practices uh, and training were held at the uh, Primadasa Stadium uh, under lights. We were able to play two games and we provided all the necessary facilities uh, for the boys to be prepared for this game. And uh, one uh, uh, very consoling factor is the... Uh, appointment of Mahela Jawadhan as a consultant coach yeah. uh, for the World Cup which has uh, added a lot of value and brought in uh, some very valuable uh, advice and uh, decisions uh, to the support staff uh, in the preparation of you know the combination of the team and uh, when it comes to you know the game planning and etc. Right. Looking into this game itself in the tournament that's uh, that's due for us uh, have we really picked the squad for the, have you picked the really the best squad Squad for this upcoming tournament, Mohan? Uh, well, uh, uh, in my opinion, the availability of the players, uh, considering the availability of the players, we have uh, uh, picked the best squad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would have been happy if another one or two seniors uh, uh, would have been uh, in the team. But unfortunately, uh, they were not available now. Players like uh, Angelo Matthews will be missed. He, as you know, he's, uh, you know, comes with a lot of experience and uh, finisher in this type of cricket. Right. So we'll be without him, which is uh, the huge loss. And as you know, the three uh, players who are under suspension. Um, so apart from that, I think we've got the best uh, squad of players. We have 10, 23 players uh, on tour, out of which the final 18 will be selected after our second uh, warm-up game on the 9th. And, and uh, I mean, it's no secret uh, that Sri Lanka have uh, fared poorly in this format. Um, what do you, uh, to, to what do you attribute uh, Sri Lanka's downfall uh, in this format after being crowned champions? in 2014, just seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, you're right, uh, Nathan, uh, because uh, in 2015, uh, <laughs> we were able to win this championship. But of course, uh, one must understand uh, that uh, at time, uh, we have a number of uh, iconic players like Kumar Sangakkar, Mahela Jawadana, Lasit Maling, Rangan Herak, Dilshan, mm-hmm. Duan Kulusekara, Isara Pereira, and so on. But uh, I must confess, uh, since then, we have also lagged behind, uh, I don't think I think we wanted to continue the momentum from that point. And this can be attributed to many reasons. Uh, uh, You see the disruption in the administration from time to time. And uh, in Sri Lanka should have played a very competitive uh, uh, league tournament like what the other countries are doing Mm -hmm. long before this. Actually, in fact, when we came to office in 2017, we planned LPL tournament. But unfortunately, AGM got uh, postponed due to a technical uh, issue with the election office Mm -hmm. and the two ministers that ran the administration uh, you know through their competent authorities really destroyed the momentum and you know I mean uh, uh, all our plans we had uh, you know planned to hold the LPL in a grand manner in 2018 that uh, went with the win and a lot of things happened actually during that period so that is one reason Mm -hmm. and uh, then as you know we tried hard in 2019 to start the LPL but uh, we the emergence of the COVID-19 uh, unfortunately we couldn't uh, hold the event but uh, thanks to the efforts of the government you know with their blessings we were ho- able to hold the LPL last year which yeah. was uh, really uh, you know uh, success uh, going from there we are confident that we'll be able to hold the tournament this year with uh, more strength and uh, more you know uh, distribution of players from all over the world Now with the constant changes in captaincy players the coaching staff uh, being a factor in Sri Lanka not doing well in this format of the game? Absolutely. 
absolutely. Actually, not only in this format, in all all three formats, I would say, mm-hmm. because uh, if you take uh, in the recent past, uh, we have had uh, inspirational leaders who led from the front, who were able to you know motivate and inspire the players to get the best out of them. Now, if you if you see uh, Kumar Sangakkar, Mahela Jawadana, they were able to get the best out of players. Unfortunately, we have lacked that kind of leadership uh, in recent times, which has also contributed uh, to uh, you see not getting the best out of uh, players. There, there is no dearth of talent or skills. We we have very skillful and talented players. It's the question of uh, you know getting the best of uh, them and uh, making them believe in themselves. I think uh, going forward from now on, Bird Smith, uh, the person like Mahela coming in, uh, it will be a total different uh, story, and you can see results. You can't of course expect miracles to happen overnight, sure. but uh, we are very confident that uh, with the young set of guys whom we have now, uh, if they play to their true potential, we will also be uh, forced to reckon with in the coming two years or so. That's, That's our true. wish as well. Yeah, because you see, uh, yeah. you, you hear a lot of uh, people saying uh, losing is not the problem; it's how yeah. you lose that matters. That's right, absolutely. You yeah. know, because you, if you learn from from one loss, uh, more often than not, the second one would be a victory. But yeah, actually, it's sad. Uh, we we are also very disappointed the way uh, some of our batsmen. Uh, played in the uh, recent uh, T20s because mm-hmm. uh, uh, they never adapt to g- adapted to game situations. Their reading of the game, their approach to the game, uh, their temperament uh, were all, uh, you, you see, left much to be desired because uh, most of them were waiting uh, to play premeditated shots. Mm-hmm. Where in this game, you know, you got to sort of, you know, uh, have a lot of cricket intelligence in them and to mm-hmm. understand the situation of the game and then play accordingly. And especially with uh, the, the T20 game that can change so quickly, so so fast. Um, I have one final question for you, uh, Mohan. Now, given that the conditions in the UAE are, are slightly similar to those at home, what are SL's chances at the tournament, honestly? Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, actually, the, uh, the, the the conditions are very similar. Uh, they have the slow wickets where the ball doesn't come on to the bat very much. Uh, so, uh, we should have some advantage. And as I said, uh, uh, number one priority is to qualify You know, for the group uh, level. Yeah. So, if that is so, it's a question of, uh, you know, the team that uh, plays uh, well on that day will achieve success. So, uh, our main aim would be to uh, beat a couple of uh, more fancy uh, teams mm-hmm. in the group stages mm-hmm. and uh, uh, if we are able to do so, uh, then uh, we may have a good chance of, you know, I mean, uh, advancing further. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, for talking to us, uh, Mohan. And here's You're welcome. you and the boys uh, all the best uh, for the upcoming uh, World Cup. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.